Hey everyone, it's One Stop Guy. How's everyone all doing today? Hoping everybody is having a great day today. All right, guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how to pair your Apple Watch Series 9 to your iPhone 15 Pro Max. All right, so it's actually very similar to the previous models and all that, but today I have in front of me the Watch 9 and the 15 Pro Max. And before we get into it, guys, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button, okay? And tap in a notification bell. So whenever I upload any new videos, you'll be the first to be notified. All right, guys, so let's get started. So what we want to do first is you want to turn on the power for the watch. So there's a button right here. The power button, go ahead and press and hold on it, and then it'll, sh it'll turn on. And once it turns on, you can see the Apple logo uh, turn on as well. The Apple Watch and the iPhone next to each other, it's going to know all right, that they're next to each other and they're going to try to link to each other. So right now on the bottom, it says set up for myself, set up for a family member. So we're going to go ahead and press set up for myself. And then once you set, set it for yourself, it's going to say hold Apple Watch up to camera and align with the viewfinder. So there's a globe popping up right here. So you guys want to align it to that globe, moving globe right there. So it knows that it's trying to uh, pair your watch with your phone. So it says your Apple Watch is paired. Now we're going to go ahead and set up Apple Watch on the bottom here at the of the phone here, okay? And then once you do that, it's going to have a bunch of options here. Wrist preference. On which wrist do you wear your Apple Watch? So you wear it on your left side or your right side. I'm going to leave it on the left side for now. So basically, you guys will need your Apple phone to activate your uh, Apple Watch, okay? And right here it says Apple ID, sign in with your Apple ID on your iPhone to receive updates on your Apple Watch for message, mail, and calendar, even when your Apple Watch is away from your iPhone. All right, so you can sign in with your Apple ID or you can skip this step. I'm going to go ahead and skip this step. And then watch analytics. Help Apple improve its products and services by allowing analytics of usage data from your Apple Watch. Share with Apple or don't share. I'm going to go ahead and don't share. Apple Watch passcode. So you can set up a passcode right now if you guys want. Add a long passcode. Don't add a passcode. For right now, I'm just going to put don't add passcode. You guys can always do it later. It says using a passcode is highly recommended, but I'm just going to go ahead and don't use passcode for now. And so now as you guys can see, you can see on your iPhone screen and on your Apple Watch screen, it's saying the same thing, bow text and, and side or size, select your preference. So you can make it big or small, whatever you like. Okay, so I'm gonna put it right in the middle, okay? So basically it's gonna um, link to your, your watch, the bold si uh, text and size. Okay, so go ahead and press continue. You can also set it up later in the Apple Watch app, but we already did it, so uh, let's go ahead and press continue. And then once you press continue, you can also set up Siri, but we're gonna go ahead and do it later, so don't use Siri. Share settings, Apple Watch share setting with iPhone for your location service. Find my iPhone, Siri, and Analytic. We're gonna go ahead and press continue. And then they also got the personalized fitness and health. Uh, we're going to go ahead and press, um, you know, you guys can enter all that right there. Date of birth, sex, height, weight, or whatnot. I'm going to go ahead and pass on that. So press continue. Once you pass, press continue, it says activity. You can set up activities. The activity app helps you sit less, move more, and get some exercise. Once you set your goal, it can send notification to help you meet them. Okay, so you can set it up. Or you can skip this step. We can go ahead and skip it for right now. And then workout route tracking. Enable route tracking or disable route tracking. Apple Watch Workout uses your location to track routes and local weather for outdoor workouts. We're going to go ahead and press disable for right now. Okay, You guys can enable it. 
I'm going to go ahead and disable it for right now. And then get notification about your health, all that stuff. Noise, low heart rate, high heart rate, etc. Continue. Also, they got the safety feature, emergency SOS, crash detection, backtrack. Go ahead and press continue. Cellular setup. Okay, so my Apple Watch actually does have a cellular setup or a cellular plan. So basically, you can leave your phone away. I mean, your watch away from your phone and it can act like its own phone. Okay, so, so you can use your watch like doing call, text, and all that stuff all by itself. Okay, so it all depends on if you have a plan or not. Okay, but mine, I do have a plan. So it says right here. When your Apple Watch is not connected to your iPhone, you can continue to make and receive calls and access apps using cellular data. To enable cellular, add your Apple Watch to your existing iPhone cellular plan. All right, guys, so you guys can set up cellular for your uh, Apple Watch. Uh, some Apple Watch is just GPS and not cellular, but mine comes with cellular. So it will have, I chose the uh, one where it will have its own number. But for this purpose, I'm going to go ahead and press not now, okay? And then once we press not now, you can do the double tap. Tap your index finger and thumb together twice to answer a call, reply to a message, see your smart stack, and more. All right, go ahead and press continue. And then once um, you press continue, it's going to start really doing its activation right now or linking right now. Welcome to Apple Watch, My Watch, Free Gallery, OK, or Apple Watch Apps. Press OK. And your Apple Watch is now set up. You can control your Apple Watch via the Apple app on your phone, OK? So now, basically, the watch is done. It says, hello. We're going to go ahead and set it up now. Learn how to navigate watch. Press a digital crown to see your app so we're gonna go ahead and press that and then once you press that you're basically um, inside your watch we're gonna do it again you almost had it press the side button to open the control center or press this button right here so it's actually showing you how to uh, use the watch right now so we'll go ahead and press that and then uh, press the side button to close the control center Turn the digital crown to see your widget. So you can turn the crown here and you can see all your widget and then everything is good to go. So it's kind of like giving you a little tutorial on how to use your Apple Watch. So now we are good. Allow weather to use your location and stuff like that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go next. And then now you can put all apps just to see it again. And you are good to go, guys. That's it. All right, so in this tutorial, I just wanted to show you guys uh, how to link or pair the Apple uh, Series 9 to your iPhone 15 Pro Max. Okay, so it's actually very similar to other iPhones as well, previous iPhone as well, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to set it up, and it's actually pretty straightforward, um, and all that. All right, guys, if you guys have any questions or comment, leave them down below, and if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button, okay, and tap in a notification bell, so whenever I upload any new videos, you'll be the first to be notified. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.